and a very bold move to save a life, and it's all caught on police body camera video. Three Bunk Springs police officers say they're just happy that it all ended well. Ken Molasina is here to walk us through this dramatic rescue video, Ken. Yeah, you know, guys, this was an apartment fire that the police officers were called out to, and as you're going to see here shortly, things became extremely dangerous just as soon as they realized that a mother and her son were trapped inside, so they had no choice but to ask the little boy to jump. <laughs> This was the scene at an apartment complex on the 12,000 block of Quail Drive in Balch Springs early Monday morning. You can see and hear on body cam video the first on scene where officers tried to get everyone out when they realized Can we get in the door? Up there? Yeah. that a mother and her eight year old son had no way out. And to see them up at that window, um, it, it was scary, very scary. Officer David Fields was one of the three officers there and spoke about the ordeal. That mother, Keisha Sowell, and her eight-year-old son, Kingston, were trapped. Yeah, I, you know, that was, you know, that was it. At least that's what she thought until another officer, Corey Jones, threw his baton through her window, breaking it so they could escape. First out was the eight-year-old, who braved his fear of heights and jumped into the arms of the three officers waiting below. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Once we, I think that he saw that we were down there and that uh, we were going to catch him, he didn't think twice and he, he jumped out the window. Shortly after, firefighters arrived and raised a ladder so mom could climb out. At the end of the day, you know, we were saved. It was a dramatic experience that could have turned out a lot worse if it weren't for the quick and brave actions of a few. I just thank God every day that we're able to do this job. But before they could all put the memory in the past, this thankful mother had a message for her heroes. And I just thank God that they took the time to do what they were called to do, you know, as officers, as, as firefighters. A very happy ending to this one. You know, the families, though, who did uh, live in that building, they have been displaced. Uh, thankfully, though, no one was hurt, and that's probably the most important thing. You know, fire officials say, guys, if they're investigating this, they're saying it was possibly arson that started all of this. So, yeah. man, I hate to hear that, but yeah. this is the second or third in recent weeks, right? People jumping out of second story windows, yeah. right? And it's strangers from